Hello little ladies and gentlemen, this is second game I'll be casting for you today between IC in the upper left and UTL Illimited here on the bottom right. UTL is going for an expansion first, here, here it comes, while IC is getting a little bit more aggressive, he's gonna make a house so he can produce units earlier on. This is one of the old games that I have to cast. Hopefully Little War Game lets you play old replay files, replay the files at, as it were. As I said, IC is getting pretty aggressive here. He's beating wolves as fast as he can and he's already putting them as soon as they leave into his opponent's base, in this case his expansion, or his natural, if you prefer. So yeah, I find I found out that I also have a few replays from of the most recent version of the game. I'll cast those two, but first I'm gonna get ahead and record these old games so I can at least send an email to the people thanking them for having sending the games and telling them that hey at last at least I have recorded the games I didn't completely forgot about them so funny thing is that Unlimited here is making wolves as well but he is well behind when it comes to producing the actual units even though he will have a better economy because he has made his expansion earlier on. As you can see, he is currently behind, but I think in, in total gold, but I think he'll catch up pretty soon. Uh oh, unlimited. You, okay, he's got the den ready. He's already, he was very fast in producing wolves here. But this is nice, at least I see we'll have the information here. Oh, okay, they, they paused the game a little bit and resumed. But of course, as a spectators, we don't see the actual pause. The, we just see the messages as if the pause never, never actually happened. So yeah, Unlimited is in a good spot here. He has the better economy. He will have enough units to deal with, with this incoming attack. Ice has only one wolf stand, so pretty soon he will be outnumbered by the enemy units, as long as Unlimited doesn't lose too many of his wolves. As you can see, they're almost equal now. They, there are three, two, two, four. Three wolves. 3 defending wolves to 4 attacking wolves which is not too bad considering there are already 2 more coming here he can use his workers to defend as well so uh, I think it's a good idea by Icy to keep the pressure going instead of just going back but he probably knows that it won't amount to too much in the end he's even pulling back now he's saying well D enough is enough. I don't want to lose all my wolves. He's being pretty smart. This is great micro by Icy, by the way. Because he's pulling the wolves away from the main base where they can at least fight on equal grounding, on, on equal terms. As you can see, Ice is, is very, very smart. He's pulling out before. I was gonna say he's pulling out before he lo actually loses wolves because he can then go home and regenerate the health. Really great micro here by Icy. Even though he is on the losing side of this battle, at least until he makes a few more wolves. Wow, Icy, why so much micro? You're doing great, but chill out, man. Okay, 
here are the reinforcements. Icy knew that for a long time he had less uh, wolves than his opponent because he was one wolf stand behind. But he did the absolute best he could. But now though he is losing a lot of wolves. Though it seems they're they're quite balanced. Meanwhile, oh, I didn't see this happening. Meanwhile, Unlimited is producing. He's going for dragons because of this fortress here being upgraded. He kept the same amount of wolf stand for a long time. He's already researching upgrades while Icy is going the same route except instead of upgrades he's going for two dragons I mean two, two dragon lairs so he will be producing two dragons at a time Icy is just a tiny bit ahead on on supply he has made more houses so this is a, a very interesting game to predict. I think for now Unlimited will be in a better spot because for now he will be producing more wolves, meaning he will be able to attack Icy more aggressively. But in the long term, if Icy can get enough money to keep pumping out dragons here, he will have a lead in the middle game or in about five minutes or so since the aggression is pretty crazy here from bro both sides as you can see we have over 10 wolves to each side no player is actually trying to expand they're keeping in two bases because they're pretty much afraid that, hey, if I make one base here, or down here, they're gonna come and attack with over 10 wolves and completely destroy my base. So they're pretty much betting on the dragons, and I'm guessing they won't do anything until the dragons come out, which is gonna be pretty soon for Icy, and moderately soon for Unlimited. Unlimited is on a on a good attack here because Icy doesn't have towers or any other type of unity for right about now to to defend this properly. So he was able to do a lot of damage to these wolves here. But as soon as the dragons come, as I said, Icy is gonna have the upper hand, and he sees that there are two dragons from Icy so he pretty much can imagine he is behind in the count of dragon slayer but so far he's doing nothing about it except making a tower here so Icy will be in a decent spot to attack this here oops now that I say this I see a tower is being made as well so I guess neither side will... What I mean is, I don't think Icy will be able to win the game right about now. Though, if he keep making dragons, he will be... He will be in a decent position. I wouldn't say he will be able to win the game just with dragons right now, but... He is in a good position. More dragons coming here. He's trying to get an expansion done, but it will probably be made, but there will be heavy attacks here. Losing that dragon was very harsh for Unlimited because if he had two dragons here, two dragons plus the towers would be a great place. But since he only has one dragon, this dragon is pretty much dead right now. 
and he can't really do anything with him. He's even getting his only dragon lair, which is already built, is under heavy attack, and I don't think there is much he can do because he practically has only one dragon with good enough life. And now it's four against pretty much one until this one regenerates. And Icy has a new expansion working already. So it sounds that Unlimited is slowly losing his position in this game. He's making another Dragon Lair, but with only two bases against three bases for Icy, I don't think this is going very well. Icy should probably make a, a tower here, so he doesn't have to worry about this getting in constant attack. As you can see, just three wolves wouldn't be nearly enough if there was a tower here. Unlimited is doing the best he can to to harass his opponent, but it isn't going very well. If I was Unlimited, instead of building this Dragon Lair right here, which could just as easily be destroyed by this herd of dragons, I, I would have made this one here, an advanced workshop to build ballistas, because if he had built this earlier, it would have been almost done already, and if he got like two ballistas, it would be enough to at the very least make attacking him a lot more scary for Icy. Yeah, I think this game is pretty much done now. Unlimited has all of his workers in only one base. This is not enough for him to keep producing wolves. He will at best be able to afford only one... I'm sorry, he will be able at best to afford only one dragon at a time. As you can see, he can, he's not able to produce here with his extra dragon lair. Just now being able to. But as I said, GG, this was not enough to keep him in the game. He would be producing two dragons at a time if he had the money to do so, while Icy would be doing the same, plus producing wolves and upgrades and probably even a new expansion once he was able to. So as you can see, they pretty much mines the same amount of gold. I like to look at this statistic right here because it often shows who played the best. But as you can see here, both players were quite on par in economic terms. Which means both players played well, but for various reasons, Icy went a bit ahead and won this game. I would say that what won this game for Icy was his, as always, great micro. Because if you go back to the video, you will see you will see that the moment he downs one of his opponent's dragons was completely crucial for win winning the game. And even in the early game, keeping the attack, keeping the pressure on with his wolves instead of letting go also was something that put him a bi little bit forward. And as you can see from the total mind gold here, it was those two little bit forwards that won him the game, as far as my opinion goes. Maybe you have a different opinion, if so, leave a comment below, so I can learn a bit too from you. And if, you, if you're playing Little War game nowadays, think about saving some replays and sending me an email to the email that to the email address that you can find on the description below. This way I will be able to keep casting these games, which I think it's a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed too. Thank you for watching, see you guys next time.